Well, hello. Um, I've been asked how to cut an onion and how to cut it safely and properly. And I know that it's not something that everybody needs to know, but for those of you that do, I thought I would show you how to cut an onion. Okay, onions. This is the top, the bit that is out of the ground. And this bit, the hairy bit on the bottom, is the bit that is in the ground. And when you're cutting an onion, you're gonna cut off the top and leave the hairy bottom. And that's what I used to say to my students. Chop off its head and leave its hairy bum. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is decide on your knife. I have got a selection of knives. These are the ones that I tend to use, all right? Um, it is whichever knife you find the easiest to cope with. But what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that it is sharp. If you have a sharp knife, you are less likely to cut yourself. I know it's ridiculous, but it is true. If you have got a blunt knife, you tend to use more pressure on the knife to get through stuff. And that is when it will slip. And that's when you're likely to cut yourself. So you need to make sure that your knife is as sharp as you can possibly get it. So for that reason, I'm actually going to use my tattiest little knife because this is the one that is the sharpest. And this is the one that I prefer. It has got a little kink in the top, but it'll be fine for this. So what you're going to do is cut off its top. I have put my board onto a uh, cloth so that my board isn't moving. If you haven't got a cloth, then just get a J cloth or a, a dish cloth, wet it and stick it underneath. But what you're going to do is make sure that your board does not stick, slip. That way you won't slip and your knife won't slip. So the first thing that you're going to do, cut the top off and then you're going to peel it. Now we want to have this as a whole onion. Um, you could cut it in half at this stage because I'm going to show you how to dice. But peel it, leaving its base on, leaving its hairy bottom alone, just like that. Now, if you want to cut it into circles, you would cut it into circles like this right the way through, holding it with your fingers like that, okay? This will stop you cutting your fingers off. I have done that in the past when I was very, very tired. So I don't want to do it again today. But I am going to cut this into dice. So if you hold your knife like that, keeping the end intact. And then this is the easy bit. Okay, we're going to make fine dice. So what you need to do is you need to cut through two or three times from the side. So fingers on top, keeping it firm, and you're just gonna cut nearly all the way through. So you're not gonna cut all the way through to the bottom because you're gonna keep that end intact. So we're gonna do this a second time. Not again, all the way through. And that should be all I need. And now we're gonna cut this way, all right? So keeping your fingers as a nice little arch like that, you're going to cut through your onion all the way to the bottom now. Like that. You probably can't see it, but it's small. All right. Keep your fingers nice and tight all the way to the bottom. As small as you want to do this. This isn't a race. You don't need to be Jamie Oliver trying to get it done as fast as you possibly can. And you might need, once it starts to fray open a little bit, just to hold it, just keep your fingers away from the knife, please. So there we go, all the way down through. And that now means that you've opened it up like this. Can you see? So that when we cut through this way, I'll just move those big pieces out of the way, you are now gonna have very fine dice. If you're cuts are farther apart you will get bigger dice but you have now made little tiny dice as easy as that speak to you again soon bye bye